guys, it's Jenny B from VitalityByJenny.com and today we are going to talk about how to get a sexy flat stomach even after having one or two or more babies. <laughs> so I have two children of my own and they're four years old and two years old right now and I was able to regain a flat stomach within a very short period of time even after my second child. And so I want to tell you today how to go about doing that. So my first tip is definitely the right diet. This is the most important one in achieving a flat stomach, in my opinion. And the best diet for that is a low fat, high raw, vegan diet. So this is the diet that I recommend across the board. Uh, it means 10%, around 10% fat and 80% or, or more from carbohydrates and you want most of those carbohydrates to be coming from fruits, the sugars from fruit. And then other, the other part of those carbohydrates could come from cooked whole grains and potato type foods. And of course the last part of this is that it's vegan. So you're not eating any animal products and the reason that this diet is so amazing at giving you a flat stomach is because one, it obviously has very very little fat so you're eating you know hardly any overt fats at all during the day and this is because the fats that you eat is the fat that you wear on your body and so the less fats you eat the less fat you're going to have on your body also it's vegan like i said so the foods that are vegan foods that are plant-based foods our bodies are designed to handle them so much better and so they go through our system without leaving toxic junk behind that gets stored in our fat cells and then the high raw part is wonderful because fruit in particular is one of the most perfect foods for us as humans we digest it incredibly easily and it just passes through our system leaving us with all the simple sugars that we need to have energy to work out and all of these delicious vitamins and phytonutrients and wonderful little other nutrients that our bodies need to function optimally without leaving behind any junk or aftermath <laughs> that gets, ends up getting stored in our fat cells. So fruit is by far the most perfect food if you want a flat stomach. Okay, tip number two is to reduce or completely eliminate your salt intake. So this one is another very big step if you're really working on, if you've already got the diet down but you've been including salt and you really want to like slim down in your stomach and just anywhere, everywhere. It's amazing how much water our bodies hold on to when we're eating salt because salt is incredibly toxic for our bodies and our bodies we become thirsty when we drink of salt because our body really needs that extra water to kind of surround the salt in our body so it doesn't touch any of our tissues as it makes its way out through our urine. And it's interesting, it comes out exactly the same as when it went in, so nothing really happens to the salt um, when it's in our body. Our body's just surrounded in water to keep it away from our tissues and then pushes it out. So if we're constantly consuming salt, our bodies are constantly holding on to all this extra water to surround the salt and that makes us look much more like we have more fat than if we weren't eating the salt. Tip number three is of course exercise and of course generally just working out or getting in some sweating time. <laughs> this is all going to be great for helping you to reduce fat on your stomach. But what I specifically recommend is doing some type of cardio or high intensity interval training. If you're doing ab exercises in particular, or doing you know some type of weighted or resistance type training to specifically work target your ab muscles, these are going to start building your abs. And while that may be the look that you're going for, I don't know, but as women, we generally don't want to build our abs per se, as much as we want to just take the extra fat layer off of our ab muscles that are already there. We just want a nice, slim, sexy looking flat stomach. So I wouldn't say targeted ab exercises is really what you're looking for out of exercise. What you wanna do is do cardio, long, like a long distance type run 
or you know the like the longer slower burn cardio or a high intensity interval training like the workouts that I do on my channel because these are they will help you burn more fat and more calories long after you've done worked out um, as compared to the long slow burn cardios but both will work okay tip number four is water it's incredibly important to stay hydrated for so many reasons but in the when we're talking about getting a flat stomach you really want to keep hydrated and keep water coming into your system to help flush anything that's um, lingering in your colon or in your stomach and in your intestines where well, you want to flush any of that out as well as any toxins that are kind of building up if you're in your bloodstream because that will help to flush the toxins out as well so they don't get stored in your fat cells and last but not least this one is something that I found I had a hard time with after I had children and I didn't even realize that I was doing it for nearly the entire time that my children were small and they're still small but very small <laughs> and this is keeping the stomach muscles pulled in so after you've had a child it's through the whole nine months or you know for most of the nine months that you're pregnant you're used to your tummy being big and you don't need to keep that pressure on your um, ab muscles because it feels better just to let it you know be naturally loose just let it kind of be there and so you've gotten out of the routine or at least for myself I used to hold my ab muscles in all the time it was just a habit and then I became pregnant and it felt much better to just relax those muscles while I had a big belly and so I did and I became accustomed to relaxing those muscles and then what happened is after I had my babies is you would be carrying them around and it's so much easier to to pooch out your stomach a little bit and kind of let them sit on it <laughs> so I know that sounds a little funny but I noticed I was doing it without even thinking so it's not something I realized I was doing until after my second child and after he was already over a year and a half years old. So it's something that I've seen other moms do when I see them hold their babies. I see automatically we kind of pooch our tummies out and you know stick our hips under like this and pooch our tummies out and kind of like let them sit there because it's more comfortable. And so especially if you're a mom, I just want you to be more mindful of maybe if you're doing that to just be like, okay, I'm going to improve my posture a little bit, even if it's not while you're holding your child, but afterwards, you just really need to be mindful to really pull those muscles back in and build up, you know, the ability to keep them held in like that. Keep all of the intestines and everything held in tight because I don't have, you know, it's like my stomach doesn't look like this if I'm not holding it in. <laughs> So, and it's not supposed to, you know, you relax and it kind of pooches out a little bit down here and that's fine. But if you want a flat looking stomach, you need to practice keeping those muscles pulled tight. Okay. So those are my top five tips for having a flat, sexy stomach. If you would like some low fat, high raw recipes to get you started on this wonderful diet, then you can grab a free recipe ebook at my um, website www.happysexyhealthy.net. I hope to see you there. I love you. Bye.